Welcome back to Spur of the Moment. This is Jim, and today we are playing some Resident Evil 4. And we're going to wrap up Leon's campaign here. Probably. Probably. Almost definitely. Our mission. The real power of the United States lies in three areas. The Justice Department, the administrative bodies, and the military. In order to take control of these areas, we must influence the minds of the people who advise the president. After this is done, the rest of the departments will quickly fall under our sway. If by chance the United States were to figure out our plan, the damage caused should be minimal. We will still be able to conquer the country as planned using our backup plan. Once we control the country, we will use their international influence to our advantage. The rest of the world will fall swiftly. As already stated, if our first plan doesn't go as smoothly as expected, we'll proceed with our secondary plan. By sending in our special forces, we will infiltrate the country from within. Fear and chaos will spread throughout the nation like a virus. It will only be a matter of time before the country loses its stability. At this time, when they're most vulnerable, we will strike. Rejoice, my brethren. The world shall soon be cleansed. <clears throat> Obviously, they don't know how many guns per person there are in America. This one guy with a gun is really wrecking all their forces. <clears throat> what of the uh, yellow herbs hanging around? Welcome! How much money do we have and can we... Got a selection of good things on sale, stranger. What are you selling? Oh, we don't really have enough money for anything. We could sell this, but then... What are you buying? Any upgrade? <laughs> we didn't get the reload speed on the shotgun, which is... Really, the worst possible. Come back any time. Something's not right. Ashley, you stay here. Better try a new trick, cause that one's getting old. Uh. Uh. You okay? I've been better. <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, I think you know. The American prevailing is a cliché that only happens in your Hollywood movies. Oh, Mr. Kennedy, you entertain me. To show my appreciation, I will help you awaken from your world of clichés. Ada, stand back.
Sorry, Leon. Hand it over. Ada, you do know what this is. Hmm. Good care of it. Ada! Gotta go. If I were you, I'd get off this island too. She really pushed it. Here, catch. Better get a move on. See you around. Very cute. This island now. It's gonna blow any minute. It's gonna what? Let's go home. Sounds like a great idea. Mission accomplished. Right, Leon? Not quite. I still have to get you home safe. So, uh, after you take me back to my place, how about we do some, um, overtime? <laughs> Sorry. Somehow I knew you'd say that, but it doesn't hurt to ask, you know? So, who was that woman, anyway? Why do you ask? Come on, tell me. She just asked you. She's like a part of me I can't let go. Let's leave it at that.
shows the village as it was, and then it shows it succumbing to the plaga. don't really react well with children, um, so they ended up getting rid of all the children, which uh, is pretty gross. Anyhow, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Have a great night. Oh. Hunnigan, is that you? Finally, the line's jack free. Hey, Hunnigan, no glasses. Forget the glasses. What's the status of the mission? I've rescued the subject. We're returning home. You did it, Leon. Thanks. You know you're kind of cute without those glasses. Give me your number when I get back? May I remind you that you're still on duty. Story of my life. Alright. Now we'll see you guys next time. Have a great night.